Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. I hope you're doing well. Today, we're taking a look at a knife from Veristelica. This is the Tarava Yukari Puko 110. They make three knives in their Yukari Puko line. This is the middle child of the bunch. It's got a Scondi blade on it. It's made out of 80 CRV2 tool steel, which takes a very nice hair shaving sharp edge with good edge retention. So you can do a lot of work with this without needing to resharpen it. So typically I'll take it out into the woods and you know do an overnighter. I'll process my firewood with it or any utilitarian type tasks that I need to do around camp. And then, you know, I don't have to restrop it or hone it back up. You know, honestly, I could probably do a couple trips before needing to. Pretty neat. To achieve that, what they do is a differential heat treatment where the inside of the blade is harder than the outside. It lets you have a really sharp edge with that good edge retention while still being able to resharpen it pretty easily. But by having the softer exterior, you're adding to the toughness of the blade. So you're able to do things like batoning or chopping if you had to and not worry about, you know, shearing the knife off that you're at risk at the harder the edge gets. The handle is rubberized. It's got good ergonomics. So with a glove, without a glove, you, you know where it's at. You've got, you know, a little bit of a, a guard here at the front for protection. The spine is beveled. It's got a slight 45 degree bevel on the spine, which makes it nice to use with your thumb so you can support your cuts for your finer work. This will rip a ferro rod. As far as sheaths go, you have a couple different options. Originally, started out with this leather belt dangler which is really nice, classic design. You get the D-ring, a loop for a wide belt loop. There's great blade retention, like it's not gonna come free. And then to even improve upon that, they've got a snapping lock. When it's snapped, it's not coming out. They actually you know, recommend not trying to force it when that's snapped so you don't damage it. In addition to the leather sheath, they just started offering a bolter on sheath, which is right here. It's mounted on my, my belt rig. It's similar to Kydex, but it's better suited for cold weather. So, you know, it gets really cold. It's, it's not going to snap. It's got great retention. And if you listen as I put it back in, it's just a real soft uh, clip rather than, you know, a loud clack. They sell a couple different mounting options from belt loops. There's a tech clip, but today I'm using these long plastic molly clips that feed down through the pals webbing or your molly webbing. And you could mount this to your belt, your, your backpack, you know, your webbing gear. It's, it's solid. Between the two sheaths, the leather sheath, it sits much lower. You use two hands to draw it. And it's, it's really comfortable. Where the Bolteron sheath, it sits higher. And I do a reverse grip to draw it. You could mount it anywhere you want, but what I like about this is that having it up out of the way like that, I'm able to wear my heavy backpack on over top of it with the big hip belt and it sits right underneath it. It's out of the way, it doesn't bind. Then if I take my backpack off, I've still got my knife on. Personal preference for me for the sheaths, I like both. You know, I, I suppose I use the Bolteron sheath a bit more but the leather sheath is really nice for around camp if I'm just, you know, working on my fire and bushcraft projects, camp stuff. There you have it, guys. The Yukari Puko 110 from Veristelica. If you have any questions for me about the knife, just let me know down below. Happy to help. I'll have a link for you down there if you want to check it out for yourself. But I think they're really good knives. For the money, that blade performance would come at a much higher price point, you would think. So, really solid. All right, everybody. I hope you're good. We'll catch you soon. Cheers.